Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to On The Lot. As always, I'm your host, James Anthony, and I'm very excited because today we're in Boston, Massachusetts at Logan International Airport. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Forget it, whatever. You never felt cold before? A little bit. Wicked good cops. Wicked good cops. Wicked good cops. I love it. Boston, you know we talking history, sports, oh, colleges, the whole nine yards, man. And since we own the Hurts lot, we're going to play some games and get people into some wicked good cops. So you guys get free reign. Wow. Let's go with the caddy. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. We asked over 100 Bostonians some of Boston's most burning questions, and we're going to see if our customers have a good pulse of the people. Let's go. All right, first question, who is the GOAT? Well, you started us off with a little softball there. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady, TV Tom Brady. 12. Yeah, shouts out, <laughs> shouts out to the GOAT. All right, where is the city of champions? New York. The answer is actually here in Boston. They would, they would, they would say, they would, they would say here in Boston. I'm knocking with that too. I like, I like that answer. <laughs> Boston, you're here, baby. Oh, did you you're here. Say that? Of course, it's here. We've got more here. of everything. Right, what about the best donut? Your wife going crazy on the side. <laughs> no, no, Boston, Boston cream, obviously, right? Boston cream. Boston cream oh, that is, was that. That is, oh, that is okay. the oh, best good. answer. Good but job. Did you take that? I spoke first. No, no, no. Yeah, no. What about best place to propose? Well, I'll tell you where we got engaged. Oh, I love it. Yes. Let me hear it. What's right up? here in downtown Boston. Beautiful park. Quiet, right in the middle of the financial district. We go Man, back. That was smooth. We go that back was to smooth. the north end. We have dinner, oh. and I say, "This is the spot." Couldn't take my eye off my ring. I was like, "You know how it is." <laughs> and now look, still going strong, being able to yeah. do interviews inside the Boston Airport. Look, you guy, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So as y'all know, I've been a trainee for far too long, and now it's time to forget about it. So while we're here in Boston, I'm gonna ask these guys what it takes to get me to the next level. Let's go. Bobby, how long you been with us for Hertz? 39 years. So, Phil, how long have you been here with us here at Boston Hertz? 36 years. I want Boston to kind of be my first place where I'm like a real employee, okay? What, what, what I got to do to be as, as Boston as I can be? I always talk to the customers, Boston sports. You know, Fenway Park. Get about the Sox. The, the Sox, the Celtics, the Bruins. If someone comes in with a thick Boston accent, do you reciprocate or Oh, what? yeah. Everything yeah. is with an A. So, you're going to go to the goal section. Okay. <laughs> you're going to pick out your car. <laughs> always be good to a customer. Okay. And I'm here because I'm from the city and I represent the city. What position do you think I'd be able to, to, to start off here? You start off as a janitor. You start janitor and work your way up? Work your way up. And then if then in 39 years, I'll be able to be next to VSA. What are you doing? Sorry, man. For Hertz employees only. All right. Oh my God. He solved it. Hey, wait. Come back. Everyone knows about the big green monster over at Fenway Park. But what you don't know about here in the Hertz lot is the big yellow monster. Let's see if our customers can hit one over. Let's go. You guys know the baseball is a big deal here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't know that, but I, I'll agree with you. At Fenway, they have their big green yep, monster. I got it. But we, you get three pitches Dewey to try to hit a home run over the yellow monster. If you do it successfully, then we get you into an upgrade. You ready? All right, sounds great. Well, I throw you a little heat, you can handle it. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see. Yeah. We're going to see. Let's go. All right, Dewey, three pitches, trying to hit it over the monster right there. No way. No way. <laughs> we good. We good. You ready? You got three chances. All right. All right. Oh, nutmeg. <laughs> Get us that upgrade. Ooh. Okay, he on it now. Strike one. That's one. Okay. All right. I'm just getting you off my plate a little bit. That's all that is. We good with that. That's one. Hey. What am I doing? So early. Here we go. Pitch number two. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! You got it right there. I got you. That's a bomb. <laughs> Don't disrespect him. Good shot, bro. Yeah. Doing with the big shot. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, that was sir. A real good one. Appreciate real it. Good shot. Terry did it. Hit a bomb over the monster. Let's get him into an upgrade. Let's go. Right. Yuri. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Boston is home to some of the most prestigious universities in the world. We're gonna see if our customers could give some inspiring commencement speeches. 
Let's go. Hello, everyone. We are back on the lot again. I'm here with Jin. I'm here with Sai. Sai actually flew to us all the way from Hong Kong. What brings you here to Boston? Well, my son is graduating this year, and we are visiting a college that he's going to go to. I'm visiting my daughter, who's oh. a junior in college. I was just seeing friends, family. OK. Coming back to see my uni as well. But you said you graduated from I did, I did, yeah. I did. What school Bentley? exactly? Bentley in uh, 2014. I know you've wow. heard commencement speeches before. Yeah. Have you ever given one? I have not. <laughs> Say it in, as if you were giving a commencement speech to your son's college graduating class. Okay. Are you up for it? I can do it. Ladies and gentlemen of the Hertz lot, it's an extreme pleasure to bring to you your commencement speech giver of the day, Sai. <laughs> Please give a round of applause for Jen. Thank you, thank you. Miss Lynn. Hi, everyone. Um, so good to see all of you here today. Well, I just have a few things to say. First of all, graduates, awesome job. I know all of you have worked very hard to get to where you are, to be in this position to graduate. The things that I have learned in my career is that you never know where you're going to go. Don't be in a hurry to get started on your career. Everyone's where they are for a reason. Mm. So you guys need to just, you know, Take that in stride. Enjoy the journey, be open to learning, and know that not everything's gonna go the way you expect it to go. And that's okay, because your best learnings come from the, the toughest situations. That was... <laughs> no, you're gonna make me cry. So again, congratulations. Have a wonderful celebration, and good luck as you step into the next part of your journey. Sigh, everybody. Sigh. Man, oh man. Hey! <laughs> That is it for us. <laughs> another commencement speech, another graduation. She got me motivated. I'm ready. Give me a book. Give me some, I'll read. I'll read anything right now. Uh, next, we will be having a few words from our librarian. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. How you like them apples, man? That's going to do it for us today on the lot here in Boston, Massachusetts. I really feel like I became a real Bostonian today, man. How you doing? He's the best trainee ever. With an Big A. Big facts. Don't, don't forget it. Does he know me? Never yeah. mind if I know him. Yeah, how you doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> Do it with the big shot. Let's go. We gotta give him the upgrade. He had, a, he had a bomb just now. We got to. Let's go. Had a lot of fun. Until next time, I'm your host, James Anthony. Yeah, free reign. Thank you, guys. Of course. Man. Let's go, Boston. Man, you crushed it, brother. Let's go. You just made the trip worthwhile, the Boston. Good. Let's go. Let's go.